Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and in today's video we are going to try and predict Newcastle's squad going into next season. A heads up straight away, this is going to be very hard to do. If you had taught me before that January transfer window is signed Kieran Trippier and Bruno, I would have called you a liar. Because nobody saw that coming and the fact we got those two in, it in particular was just exceptional. I think all the signs to be fair have been good with the exception of maybe Chris Wood's price tag but I still don't think he's been awful, I still think he's somewhat pulled his weight in certain aspects. But yeah, this window's going to be mad, shall we say. But anyway, guys, as always, you're new to the channel, make sure to head down there, subscribe. We're heading towards that 25,000 subscriber mark now. That's crazy, so thank you so much. And also, you can smash the like button. And finally, question of the day, which one of these players would you guys take in the cast night out of the new players I put on this list? Which ones would you take? But yeah, I think that's about it now. Without further ado, let's get on the way with this mad prediction video. First off, I want to talk about how much money Newcastle is going to spend this transfer window because I'm saying a lot of journalists say we're going to spend between 50 to 60 million pounds on the financial fair play. I don't believe that at all. If you look at the owner's projections, if you look at the squad itself, we're going to spend more money than 60 million pounds this window, 100%. Because financial fair play, I don't know how, what they're expecting it to work like, but we get about 100 million pounds on TV, right? You get 22 million pounds extra because we finished 11th in the table. Bearing in mind, we haven't spent money over the past few seasons, so money will stack up. I, I don't get, where's the money gone? Like, how can we only spend £60 million pounds without selling any players? So for me, no, I don't believe that at all. I think Newcastle will spend between £90 to £100 million, pounds, similar to what we did in the January transfer window. We have to do that to get our projections. Newcastle next season will be targeting a potential European spot. We can't do that at £60 million. Pounds. We have to spend more money because we need to solidify squad depth and make sure that you start at 11 we can deal with injuries, especially. I think a strike that's huge you get in. So, yeah, we will spend a lot of money for sure. Uh, don't believe this £50 million pound garbage. Anyway, enough about that. Let's begin off with the goalkeeper. An obvious one here, but Dean Henderson, I do expect to join the cast now. The Manchester Evening News quoted that he would be 99% done already. However, over the past few days, not much has came out. So, I don't know if they jumped the gun or whatever. But as I always say in these video guys, take everything with a pinch of salt. And I will try my best to give you the information. But, again, I'm only a fan. I'm not... Working for the club, I'm not working for any newspaper articles or anything. But Dean Henderson, I do expect to join on a loan for Manchester United. I don't think it'd be a permanent yet. Maybe there might be a, a, a buy on clause in his contract, but I think it'd be a loan signing. I think he will be the number one, to be honest. I don't know what it is with the club, but uh, that newspaper article also stated we tried to sell the Bradcast. So I don't know, maybe it's a number one, number two. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I do think he will join the castle on a loan. It'd be a good one to bring in as well, former Indian international. I think it's a no-brainer. It would help give some squad depth to the goalkeepers, especially because I think all of them at times last season has just been kind of crap. So I think getting another goalkeeper in there would just help put some more uh, competition in there. I feel like Dean Henderson would be a great addition to the squad. So yeah, Dean Henderson, I think, will join. The right-backs, I don't think, will change going into the next season. Kieran Trippier has been exceptional since coming in. Yes, he got injured, but he's great at having one in the squad. He's so good in the dressing room. Emil Kraft, <clears throat> Emil Kraft has been exceptional. I can't believe I'm saying that. What a season he's had. Bloody hell. But uh, yeah, I've been happy with both of those. I don't think they'll change. Mankiel might stay. I personally don't think he will. But right backs, we've got quite a loss. And I think all, to be honest, can do a job. So yeah, no problem with me. I think right backs will stay the same. Moving on to the centre half. Here we go. This is going to be an interesting one. Dan Byrne will start next season. Who starts alongside him? That's the question. I'm going to go for it. Sven Botman. I actually think Newcastle will go back in for Sven Botman. And I'm hoping we can get him. I'm not 100% certain we're going to get him. Of course, AC Milan, seven times Champions League winners. We have to compete with them to get Sven Botman. But as I said in the past so many times, Murdoch, you do see follows him on Instagram. They've had a chat with DMs. He wanted to join the club in January. That's a fact. Amanda Staley said it herself. It's going to be tough, but I think we can go for it. If we don't get Sven Botman in again, I think we will try for Diego Carlos. However, though, I think Sven Botman's more realistic out of the two. If we fail to get both of them in, then it's not an, a desirable signing, but I think we get Tarkovsky from Burnley. I think Newcastle will take advantage of the relegated teams and a guy like Tarkovsky, he's not an exciting signing, but I think he will improve the squad. I think he will add depth in the centre-halves, especially if Dan Byrne gets injured. We're going to have a huge problem there, so... I think to get a fourth and a half in, it's going to be quite important. But I think Shaw will stay, Lascelles will stay, obviously Dan Byrne is going to stay. And I think 
Sven Botman or Torkos who come as our fourth choice. Please be Sven Botman. The left-back crisis at Newcastle. Who comes in and who doesn't come in? Out of Matt Target and Lodi from Atletico Madrid. I think we've got the better chance of getting Lodi. I don't know what it is with Matt Target, but something seems off. I don't know if he wants to go elsewhere, but the player himself a week ago said he wanted to come here, so I don't know what's happened since, but... Either the club doesn't want more at the minute, it doesn't seem like he wants to come. I, I don't know. It's really weird what's going on, on Instagram and elsewhere. So, this has been an ongoing situation. We keep an eye on it. Matt Targo or Loddy, I think one of them will come in. I don't think both will. I think it'll just be one. I'm going to go for Loddy at the minute, but that could change anytime soon. So, I do expect one to come in, but yeah. Uh, which one do you think, guys? Let's talk about the centre midfielders now. Joe Linton, Bruno. There is two of them. Who will be the third one? Do we stick with John Joe Shelby, Joe Willick, Sean Longster? Or do we bring a Norwin in, add an extra midfielder to the team? I think we will bring a Norwin in. I don't know if he's going to be a starting midfielder or it's going to be someone that's going to help out on the bench. I don't know exactly what Tyler's going to go for. Lucas Paqueta is the one that's been the most linked. Obviously, the fact he's in Newcastle last week. The fact that he was spotted wearing Newcastle top and Bruno's back gone has led to all sorts of problems elsewhere. But I do think within the next couple of seasons, Paqueta will be a Newcastle player. I don't know if it'll be this summer, but I think in general he will join the club. Because of the connection he has with Bruno, the fact that Newcastle is a, a good club, it's a club that's going to be on the up. And I think there's business reasons for coming to Newcastle. I don't believe for one second he just came to see Bruno's wife. I think there was business reasons for coming here. I don't know exactly what. I don't know if he's involving his agent saying the club or whatnot, but I think there was other alternatives for coming here. So I'm going to put them in now, but I don't expect all these to happen in one window for sure, no. I think over two to three seasons, this sort of transformation could happen. But it's better to be safe than sorry, so I will put them in the squad, but I'm not 100% certain on this one. Moving on to the wings now. The Castle need to sign a winger for sure, especially in the right-hand side. There's just not much there. So Maxman will stay on the left, I think. He's just a player that's going to be better and better as he bring better players in. I think towards the end of the season, he had a bit of a, a dodgy spell, but he has a good season in general. I think this first half of the season, the team was poor and he was one of the only players that was making a difference. So I think a better football players just needs to get his composure down a bit more, work on his finishing, but he is a good player and he will improve with the squad and he's definitely one we should be keeping every day of the week. Now for the right-hand side, I mean, we're quickly talking about Neymar. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this, but let's talk about Neymar. So, yeah, as reports coming out that Newcastle is the only team in world football that can afford Neymar. Now, there's a difference between affording a player and wanting to buy a player. Neymar is someone that's he's just not worth the money you're going to pay for him. The wages he would be on at Newcastle would be ridiculous. Eddie Howe has always stated that he wants players to be in similar wages to avoid conflict and also be an incentive for players to play better. So, bringing someone like Neymar would just completely destroy the dressing room, despite the fact he is one of the best players in world football. What I thought is hilarious though is this Newcastle fans comments saying that we, we don't want them at the club. I mean, come on. Uh, yes, I don't think it'd be great having the dressing room, but Neymar is easily the best player at the club. He would be such a good player and I would take him on 100 million years. So, I mean, this Matt Ritchie, you know, oh, Matt Ritchie has the passion. We don't, Neymar doesn't have the passion. We don't want to sign him. I mean, come on. Neymar is about 100 times the player Matt Ritchie is. So, yeah, <laughs> I've had enough of that rubbish. But on the right hand side, I'm going to go with Saw. I think Rafinha would have been a really good one if Leeds got relegated, but they're stayed up now and his demand is going to be high. So I think Saw is a more realistic one. Someone that would be quite cheap would improve the squad and for me, yeah, I would take him. Finally, let's talk about the strikers now. This one's been heavy linked since the January transfer window. He didn't join us in January. I think he would join us now. Hugo Etikeke, I still can't pronounce his name, but the league on striker. He has been quoted to be the next Kylian Mbappe Dortmund want him to replace Harlan, which is, I mean, wow. So we've got to compete with Bouchard Dortmund in this case. But Newcastle asked him first back in January. I mean, we've made our intentions clear towards the player, and I think we can do it. And I'm confident that at the minute, of course, things can change. But Strike has been quite hard if he doesn't come in because who the hell are you going to sign? It's going to be such a hard one to predict. But yeah, that's my start 11 now. I'm going to show you the squad and we'll see what the start 11 looks like going into next season. So this is my starting 11 here from the predicted squad. I don't think we'll get both of Botman and Pequot. I think we'll sign one and I think the other one will be a, a cheaper alternative. So there's someone that's going to be a squad depth player really. But I think over the next two seasons, both of them will actually join. So fingers crossed things go well in the summer. 
But yeah, uh, I try my best to predict it. Chances are some of these won't be correct. Of course, I won't. I'm not a, an expert. I don't work for the clue, as I said before. I can't time travel either. But I think some of these will join. And I think we will definitely try and sign all of these players, which is the most important part. But guys, let me know down below. Which ones do you think Newcastle are going to get? Which ones do you think aren't going to happen in the end? But thank you guys for watching. No, take care. And I'll see you on the next one.